This video is brought to you by Kaiser Knives. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and we're looking at the latest from Hunt Vault. This is the November box. I just recently finished a review on the Battle Box monthly subscription box, and um, their theme for the most recent month that I checked out was like gear. It was like a gear box. And similarly, this month from Hunt Vault is not like turkey or deer or something like that. It just says November 2018 Elite Collection. So a bunch of different gear, usable in a variety of different outdoor and hunting settings. So let's take a look at it. First up, we have an item from Buck, and um, I don't have a ton of Buck knives, honestly, but I do actually have this one already, um, and it's a cool knife. This is the Buck Pack Light Skinner. So it's got a, a coating there, so it'll keep some rust off the rest of the blade. Obviously, you gotta make sure you're uh, keeping your blade in, uh, you know, clean it off, oil it and stuff. I think this is in 420, let me double check here. Um, let's see, 420 high carbon steel made in the USA has this compact little sheath, and this thing is super light. So good for obviously um, field dressing, uh, but it is just a super, super light, super compact little blade, and that's the first item in this month's Hunt Vault Elite Box. All right, our second item is a Lynch Mob Calls Turkey Call, and they noted here that it is a glass over aluminum turkey call. So you can, uh, they've got all kinds of information on the back here, but um, I'm not familiar with lynch mob calls. Again, I'm not a, more of an outdoorsman than like an avid hunter, um, but let's, uh, let's hear from you guys in the comments. Do you know lynch mob calls? Are you familiar with them? Have you used their products? Do you like them? Um, they're valuing this at around 40 bucks, and it says lynch mob calls are widely recognized for the unique designs and ease of use. The use of innovative materials gives lynch mob calls their high performance quality standard and sound. So glass over aluminum, turkey call. That's our second item here that we're looking at in this month's Elite Box. Next up we've got this to dry out your boots, your shoes, sneakers, whatever it is. Um, this is the Peat Power Cell Dryer. And um, I've got one of these ones that you can see on the back here, like one of these stand-up ones. But this is basically, you, you pop those two uh, items into your boots and then you can see there's a plug in the back and it slowly dries them out without damaging leather or other, you know, high cost materials. So uh, yeah, that's the next item as this plane comes to land on my head. Next up we've got this, which is a game called, they're calling this, as you can see, the Doe Next Door. Um, it's got a lanyard on it. Um, they did have a note, I think, on the, um, let me just look here, it said, um, compact design and its ridge mouthpiece is easy to hold in your lips, keeping your hands free to draw. So there is a lanyard, but it's built so it's easy to hold in your mouth without having to keep manipulating it, you know, with your hands. So compact little item there from, uh, from Hunt Vault and from Dual Game Calls. Next up here we've got this, which is a gunsling, uh, neoprene, comfortable to carry your weapon. Um, they also note that you can put this just basically around your barrel and around the uh, stock of your gun so you don't have to do any drilling or, you know, additional exceptional work. So um, yeah, they're saying the value for this item is around 20 bucks, 18 bucks it looks like is what they're saying for the uh, gunsling. Now they did know that you're supposed to get some broadheads in this uh, in this box and I don't I don't see them all. I'll, I'll dig around a little bit more but I haven't seen them. So usually when that happens it means like, you know, a bunch of the orders came in late or something like that back to their shipping center. So it usually comes out like honestly like a day or two later I usually get another box from them saying, "Hey, here's, you know, here's the other items." So um, yeah, I'll look around. If I don't see them, I'll report in to let you guys know when I do get them, and uh, you know I'll pop those up on Instagram, Facebook, other things. Show you what they uh, show you what they look like when they do arrive. The next item is right here, and this is a full size turkey decoy carrier, and um, so it's got a strap here. Let me just open this up to show you how big it is. So obviously it is large. The other thing is that it's got blaze orange on the inside, which is cool. So you can turn this around and they say, you know, if you're walking through an area where there's a bunch of other hunters or you're carrying your turkey out at the end of the day, um, yeah, you've got blaze orange to definitely let it be known that you're in the area. Let me just show you how big this thing is again. So that's a, a pretty large, large item and that is from uh, Old Tom as well. It doesn't actually say what the material is, but I can tell you it is good, strong, quality material. You got some, uh, some D-rings here some elastic straps, so cool item. So the last item they're including is either the power step or the power grab, which is so you can get up in your uh, tree stand. Um, I actually got one of the power grabs in one of the earlier boxes, so it's cool. I got the power step 
for this. So yeah, I mean, basically climbing stick, attachable step. So you're gonna put it on your, you know, basically attach it to your stand. Just show you on the back here what that uh, what that looks like. Um, I do feel like I may have, I may have seen one of these earlier in another box, like months and months and months ago. But the cool thing about the um, the hunt vault systems is that you can build progressively. Like so, if you get you know one duck call and then you get like three months later you get another duck call it's like okay I got a couple calls you get a couple of these and you're basically continuing to build the system they did that with a tree stand system a while ago where it was like um, the harness system some lanyards I think they gave you some stuff to um, harness or to uh, haul gear up into the actual tree stand so it was like a variety of things that all led up to being a more complete system so that's the uh, that's the last item in this month's hunt vault elite box so similar to last month's box, they started using these um, actual boxes that can be converted into targets, which is cool as well. Um, yeah, so there you got a look at this month's Hunt Vault Elite box. You know, some of these videos I go into more detail about specific items or actually test them out. Other times I just want to let you know about the, the items that are out, particularly since Christmas is right around the corner for a lot of people. I um, want to let you know about this so you can look at that gear and say, oh man, I'd really like that or maybe I do want to subscribe to Hunt Vault. So just pumping the information out at you guys and let me know um, what you think about these items, items that you like, items you've had um, that you saw in the box that you liked or disliked just general thoughts. Also, feel free to leave comments and let me know um, items that you would like to see in future boxes. Like if you've got a company that you're like, man, nobody knows about these guys, but they make great products, let me know because I can pass that off to um, the team over at Hunt Vault. And I usually see them every year at SHOT Show. So maybe I'll connect with them in SHOT Show, which is like in about a month and uh, say, hey, here's some companies that people have mentioned to me. You guys should check them out as well. Okay, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.